the numbers are in and millennials are buying more fish than ever. It's delicious, adds variety to your diet, and it's full of lean, healthy proteins. Want to add more fish to your diet, but worried because you don't live near the coast? Well, don't get your gills in a twist. We're learning how to buy seafood when you can't see the sea on the top of the list. We're taking the sea out of seafood because finding fresh fish doesn't mean you have to live on the coast. What we try to do is kind of eliminate that thought and, and really show people how great fish can be in seafood in general here in the desert. That's right, in the Arizona desert, we found Nelson's Meat and Fish, where owner Chris Nelson serves up seafood practically right from the net. And he's sharing how you can find some in your hometown. First, know your fishmonger. And it's really about having somebody that's a trusted buyer, somebody that will sell to you and tell you the truth and give you all the information you need when it comes to buying fish. Finding a good fishmonger is like having a direct line to the fishermen. Next, ask questions. A couple things you want to talk about is, you know, where is the fish from? Who are the fishermen that that person's buying it from? Because if you're landlocked, remember, we're, that fish is coming from somewhere else. Also, when did the fish arrive and how was it caught? Tell me about this fish. It looks beautiful. So this is wild striped bass. This was caught. <laughs> this I'm, was, like, I'm like salivating right this, now. Is, this is an amazing specimen here. So this was picked up this morning at the airport by myself. It came in whole. It was a 42-pound fish. Amazing. What a great what a great story you have to tell, Fishy. There are other ways to make sure it's fresh, including the senses test. You know, the first thing you do is you want to look at the fish. Beautiful, clear color. You can still see in the flesh the color that was in that fish when it was in the water. The marine green, this, this beautiful, pristine blue. And the bloodline should be bright red, and then you'll want to give it a sniff. The fish should smell like the ocean or should smell like nothing at all. It's the times where people are like, doesn't that smell fishy? Correct. Chris says you should also touch the fish to feel the quality. Good press right there. It should be firm. You see how it bounces back? Yep. That is always a good sign of quality. And finally, buy sustainable. We like to focus on the underloved species of fish. These are fish that aren't your, your salmon, your halibut, your tuna, your scallops. Everybody's going to buy those. And if we keep buying those, we're going to run out of those. So ask what's new that you can try to branch out. I feel like now that I know my fishmonger, we need to toast to that. Cheers. Oh my god. Right? That's amazing. That's the way to do it. I love my new fishmonger. <laughs> and if you're looking for the right way to shuck an oyster, head to our Facebook page, The List Show TV. Finding the freshest seafood when you're not by the sea is on the top of the list.